Hello everyone, and peace of Christ all of you. I hope you have a great time yesterday and uh, we enjoy learning more and more about how the Yellow Pages of Muhammad is made. Um, actually, the description of Yellow Pages for the Quran is not fair because Yellow Pages is very well organized. The Quran, and we challenge anyone to say it's not true, the structure of the book, when you make a book, the book should come in order. In order of what? Imagine the Muslims, they did not even put the Quran as their prophet he claimed that he received it, which means Muhammad he claimed he received revelation, yet the Quran today is not according to the revelation. You can ask any Muslim. Actually, if now I will go to Google and search. <clears throat> I will search for Quran according to Revelation. And you will see the Muslims website all over the internet showing you the Quran according to Revelation. And you will see many Islamic videos explaining to you how the Quran according to Revelation it's not the same as the Quran which is we have today. So why we have Quran according to Revelation, yet we write it not according to Revelation? This is a very <clears throat> important question. Because, you see, the Muslims, they say, we protected our book. We protected our book. <clears throat> no, my voice is not good, really. Actually, I have a kind of allergy, you know, too much pollen. But I just said, inshallah, before I start, and that will make my voice very good. Don't worry. That's it. That's it, inshallah. And Muhammad, he have a, he have a medicine for any, uh, if you have your voice is not doing good. Uh, Muhammad, he have a medicine for it. Any any sickness, if including uh, uh, corona. Uh, Muhammad, he have a medicine for it. You take it, you will be fine, you know, immediately. Uh, as you remember here. <clears throat> Any disease, every disease, doesn't matter. You take the seed, that's it, you are bingo, like, like this, uh-huh, you know? Like I was sick, uh, I took nigla, uh-huh, I'm, 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 I'm jumping like a horse, unbelievable. This is, you want, you have corona, take nigla, uh-huh, you are going to fly, brother and sister. I'm not going to call Zachary Naik, it's very early in the morning, my time is going to be night in his time, so it's not nice to bother him. Oh, Zachary Naik is calling me, I'm not calling him. Tadadin, tadadin. Assalamu alaikum. Zakir Naik, you are saying to Christian princess, Assalamu alaikum. I'm saying it because I'm playing this thing. Okay, uh, Zakir Naik, you call us in perfect time. How in the world your prophet he claimed that there is one seed is a remedy for every disease in the world? How that can be true? Christian prince, first of all, you are ignorant. And you do not know what you are talking about. Okay, explain to us. I don't know what I'm talking about. So, how this happened, man? One seed is the remedy for every... What is the remedy for someone like you? My remedy is very simple. First, I'm wanted in India. And I'm wanted in Pakistan. And I'm wanted in America. And I'm wanted everywhere. So I'm hiding in Malaysia. So if you take the seed, you think nobody can see you no more? Exactly. I became invisible. <clears throat> One seed will, say, will solve all the problems, all the diseases. So if somebody have a corona, exactly. Heart problem, exactly kidney problem exactly um, somebody had diabetes exactly all of this in this seed exactly if, 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 if. exactly are you saying exactly even about my f, f, f. exactly okay Zachary forget about it I will don't call me now man I mean I have a topic to run we are talking about about how the Quran put together first of all the Quran nobody put it together so how it put together the Quran is like magnetized like what? Magnetite. Okay. So when you leave it, it come back together. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So why it is not according to the revelation as you Muslims explain that Allah he sent it to according to revelation, but we don't have the Quran according to revelation. Christian Prince, the reason we did not make it according to revelation because we want you to be confused. And if we make it according to revelation, 
you will see the Quran coming according to everything. Okay. And that is not good for us. We want you to go online and expose us. Ah, so it was like a plan for the future. You make it not according to revelation, so Christian prince go online and then he speak about it. Exactly. Okay, Zachary Mike, you're super smart, man. You're a genius. Exactly. And I don't know what to say. Exactly. I did tell you. You are finished. Okay, I'm finished. Okay, no problem. I will, I will, I will call you later. Let me talk here. So, guys, this is this. <clears throat> Thank you, Zachary, for calling. Exactly. Zachary Mike, come on, man. But you stuck with Zachary? Just go. Exactly. See you later. So, listen. One of the most funny thing about Muslims when they say that the Quran is a preserved. And we collected the Quran. And then you find them saying with, with their own words that the Quran they have today is not according to Revelation. I mean, what? so what is corruption? What is corruption then? Who is the one who told you to write the Quran not according to Revelation? <clears throat> Exactly. Exactly. I thought you are gone, man. What's wrong with you? Where are you coming from? I hang up the phone. Exactly. What the heck? Under the table. Where is the, where is this guy? So you agree that the Quran you have today is not according to revelation. In the same time, you say our Quran is preserved. Have you ever heard of a comedy? More than this? Exactly. What's wrong with this guy? Where is he coming from? Check behind the curtain, man. So we have a Quran sent by Allah. Allah, he sent it in certain way. And then we Muhammadan. We collect the Quran and we don't write it according to Allah way. And that is not corruption. Exactly. I think I need to change my room or something. This is weird. I hang up the phone. Maybe this is the echo or like a genie or something. Exactly. Oh boy. I'm not sure what is behind this. I think I need to read. Oh, hold on. Let me let me read this. I think there is a genie. Prophet Muhammad, he said, if you if you have somebody trying to bewitch you, you can need to read. Uh, uh, this chapter exactly well, just wait man huh? and this chapter too exactly oh boy uh. <sighs> the translation is not cor not correct exactly oh boy let us read it together so uh, uh, the genie will stop and the witchcraft will stop us. Say, I seek refuge with Allah. Exactly. The Lord of the Adaibrik. Exactly. From the devil and of what he created. Exactly. And from the evil of the day, uh, uh, dark darkening of the night as it come with its darkness. Exactly. And from the evil of witchcraft when they blow in the night. <laughs> exactly. And from the evil of the invader when they invade. Exactly. Let us see now is if exactly is going to come. Here we go. Read the Quran. Muhammad, he said, if you read this, the witchcraft will stop. Let us see. Do we I look like exactly stop? Uh -huh, it worked. It worked. I don't hear it no more. It's gone. <laughs> and you say that Muhammad is a superstition idiot. Here we go. It's gone. Exactly. What? I I thought stop. Exactly. Let me read it again. Maybe that will stop it. So, <laughs> what a garbage. Listen. So, this verse, this chapter is in the Quran today. This is a chapter 113. Just to give you an example of the corruption. You see, I don't talk about the corruption of the Quran for very simple reason. I mean, how? what the point of accusing corrupt book, the original book to be corrupt, 
by saying the corrupt corrupted again you know what i mean this is why i don't talk about it i mean uh, what that will do it's a corrupt book anyway according to muhammadan the first chapter muhammad he received it was the chapter of al 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 where the angel Jibreel, he came to him and he started squeezing him and no mayonnaise was coming out. He squeezed him and he said to him, read in the name of your Lord who created, uh, but he stopped, he didn't say created what? And then, created the man from a clot, which is stupid because a human being is not created from dead blood. Read in your Lord, the most generous, uh, etc. So this is the first chapter Muhammad he received in the Quran. So how the first chapter became the last at the end of the Quran? You know what I'm saying? How this is became at the end? Exactly. Okay. You know, Zakir, I will deal with you later. Hmm? I'm telling you, I will deal with you later. Just wait. <clears throat> And here how the, how easy it is to prove the Quran to be not what they claim without doing anything without studying without etc it says you know it, it says even in Google that this is the Quran according to revelation it's not the same as the Quran as today they say to you no no it's the same word by word but we just changed the location of the chapters but hold on isn't it the Quran says the following exactly I did not say anything yet man The Quran says that if you change location of the words of Allah, you are corrupting. Not necessarily changing the word. <clears throat> Let us see. Of the Jews where, or they are, those who displace words from their right places. Do you see it? And those became kuffar because they are doing that. They are kuffar. Allah cursed them for a changing, for displacing words from their places. So how the Muslims are doing the same as they accuse the Jews? And by the way, who is the Jews who displace words of the Torah from their places? That's a big fat lie. You go and read the story, you will see it says that a Jew, he put his finger in the top of the word. That's not the place of the word. Right? If somebody, he put his finger in the top of a word in the book, that means the, the word is in the book, nothing changed. <laughs> the, what the change is, he put his hand in the top. That's not, that's not corruption. But here you see the stupidity of the Quran author and the one who made fabricated this story. Because if Muhammad do not know the Hebrew, he don't even speak Arabic, how he knew that this guy who put his finger in the top of the verse, he is hiding a verse, if he cannot read any of them. It says by tongue, what by white tongue? No, 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 not by tongue, my friend. Let me show you the story. <clears throat> Let me show you the story. This is have nothing to do with the tongues and this garbage. Uh, all right. Read with me carefully. Uh, this is, does not tell the whole story. Let me see. Let me let me find the whole story. Give me a second. There's many hadith, you know. Some of them they give more details. Some of them they give less details. So we want the one who the person. Uh, yeah, that look like in English here we cannot find it. But anyway, the story is. Uh, as you see, they ask him to come and judge about a person who committed adultery. And uh, he told them, bring me the Torah. Uh, when they bring him the Torah, 
one of the Jews, he put his finger over the verse that says a stone to death. And this is supposedly what Muhammad is speaking about, that they are corrupting the book. Nowhere in the Quran it says that the Jews corrupted the Torah. And this is why you read in the verse it says, some of the Jews, some of the Jews. You see, not all the Jews. So the Torah never be corrupted. And this is get Muhammad busted. Why? Because in different verse, Muhammad, he says that the Jews believe in it, that uh, that uh, Hosea is a son of Allah. But we know where we can find such a story. Never the Jews worship some, someone, his name is Hosea. And they never worship uh, this person who does not exist as the son of God. That is a big fat lie. So the point is, if you point, if you put your finger in the top of a word, that is a change display of words. So Muslims who change the words from their places, Allah, he sent you the Quran. In certain way, who are you to put it in different way? Who gave you permission? Show me where Allah in the Quran, he says, Muslims, do make my Quran like this, which means correct my Quran. Because you see, the second you say we have Quran according to Revelation, as you see here, Revelation, Quran, order of the Quran. Do you see it? And here you have Revelation order, as I said to you. And by the way, even they don't agree about the first chapter, which one is. Like, you know, here they say Al-Alaq is the first chapter, but other scholars, they say it's not Al-Alaq. So they are confused about which one. However, this is number one. It should be not 96. It should be number one. You see the difference? Number two, it shouldn't be number two. It should be 68. Number three should not be three. It should be 73, etc. As you see, all the list. Which means every single one of them is displaced. It's not like one or two, all of them. Not even one of them match the actual number. <clears throat> you see what I'm talking about? But isn't it, this is a corruption? If I make a speech, and let us say I am a very important person who I have, let us say, I claim to be a prophet. Let us say uh, this is a speech of a man, not a speech of God. And then you take my statement and you play with it so you take five lines from here move them put them there that is a corruption because this is not what happened yes it's what i said word by word but a change in location can change everything secondly who gave the muslims the permission to do this game and here we notice that the claim of Quran being preserved, destroyed by the Muslim themselves. They agree that they misplace the words. Samir Khan saying, who would corrupt the Quran? My friend, who would corrupt the Quran? No, there is no Quran. Don't you see, my friend? Where is the Quran? When you say you can corrupt the Quran, shouldn't we have a book first? As you see, this is a book was not exist in the time of Muhammad. Do you remember the story where it says that the goat ate the Quran? But the Quran, the goat did not eat the, the Quran. She had pages. Muhammad don't have a book. And I will show you that from the Quran. If we go back to the Hadith. The Hadith says that when Muhammad died, read carefully. The verse of stoning to death. And breastfeeding for adult, 10 times, which is very stupid religion, proving to us that Muhammad is a perverted man. He had mental issue to give a woman order to suckle a strange man, an adult man. And the paper was with me under my pillow. Remember, this is the bed of Aisha, is the same bed of Muhammad. This is where he died in her house. They don't sleep in different bed. And this is where they bury him too. They buried him in the location of the bed of Aisha. They did not move him from there. 
because the Muslims, Muhammad, if you remember in the hadith, he said that we, a kind of a prophet, our uh, our body will preserve. You know. Uh, but later, so they did, they believe him that in uh, you know his body will preserve even if he die. So when he died, they did not bury him for three days, three nights, and then he stink. So what they did, you know, they noticed that this hadith, Muhammad promised that his body will be preserved, is a joke, is a lie. And then we notice like people from the companion, they start saying, bury your friend for he stink, literally. فَقَدْ أَنْتَنْ He stink. So we can say, even the Muslim, they say the stinky Muhammad, not us. So he lied to them. Let me try to uh, to find you the hadith so you can see what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Let us see. Yeah, let us see if we can find it here. Ah, we cannot find this one. Give me a second, try a different one. <clears throat> Let us see this one. Here we go. Muhammad he claimed that the earth cannot consume the bodies of the Prophet. And this is a Sahih Hadith. Muslims they cannot say, Oh here this is one this one is uh, Daif and so in this uh, let us see the from one, hold on. Uh, this is Daif too. All of them are Daif now. Okay. Why they became Daif? Because they got him busted. Here we go. Hmm. Here we go. Finally. By the way, all of them are Sahih. When they say Daif, they, it's just a cover up. So look what Muhammad said. Muhammad, he claimed that if you pray every Friday, your prayer will be displayed in the front of him as if he is God. I mean, why my prayer will go to Muhammad? And he's dead. He's dead. So how my prayer, read carefully. He ordered them to invoke prayer to him, not a blessing, not a blessing as they claim, Salat. Pray on me, which means ask Allah, Ask Allah to grant me high rank in heaven on me that day for you your your prayer will be submitted to me not a blessing your prayer will be submitted to me the people ask messenger of Allah how can it be that our prayer will be submitted to you while your body is decayed he replied Allah the exalted has forbidden the earth from consuming the bodies of the Prophet. Do you see it? And this is why the Muhammadan, they did not bury Muhammad for three days and three nights. Because he said, the bodies of the Prophet will not be consumed. So why would we bury him? We can leave him for the coming 2,000 years, 10,000 years. Correct? The promise Muhammad, which he made, proven to us that Muhammad is a fraud. Because in the Islamic books later we will find that Muhammad's fingers, nails became blue and green, his skin, uh, uh, his stink, 
as an example, Ibn al-Abbas, or sorry, al-Abbas, he said, uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ya'san kama ya'san al-bashar. The messenger of Allah, he stink the same as a human, they stink. He stink as the human stink. So how Muhammad he say here that he is a prophet and the prophet of God, their body will never be decayed. Obviously, and not only one hadith, I mean there's many hadith speaking about about this story. Uh I'm trying to find you the, the, the reference in English. Actually, even in different hadith, it says, فَقَدْ رَبَى بَطْنَهُ You know, his belly, uh, his belly became huge. You know, when a, when a person, he die, and they don't bury him, then he his... Uh, uh, you know, the, the bacteria inside his stomach will start making gas and because now he is dead so he cannot reveal his, let us say, farting. So this this gas will stay and uh, will will cause will cause the belly, the stomach, to become like a woman she is going to deliver soon. And then the body will start farting actually. The body, the dead body, will start farting because too much gas to hold inside the stomach you know what I mean and we can show you let us see I'm trying to find an official website, so Muslim will not say. Okay, maybe we found one. Let us see. Yeah, this website taking forever to open. Hmm. Okay, let's try a different website. You might notice in the chat, some Muslims, they are coming like bugs. This is how silly they are. You filthy idiot. Your Mimi Hijab, he called me life on air, bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I did not call him pastor. <laughs> and you are talking about insult, son of Muta. And he hang up on me eight times in less than three minutes. <laughs> All right. Let's see. All right, we found we found an official website finally. Uh, but this is the problem with this website, it's very long. So we will show the Arabic first. Here we go. First, we go to the top of the book. You see how long the page? This is, will be impossible to translate in Google and find it again. Uh, but maybe we can find it. Uh, the book of at al Kubra. Uh, here it says from 23 to 110. It doesn't say really which page is appearing in the book. However, you will see here in Arabic it says. When, when the Messenger of Allah, he died, uh, his companion, like they met together, and then they said, uh, you know, uh, wait for your Prophet, maybe he went up to the sky 
which means maybe Allah will take him up to the sky the same as Isa. So they waited. They waited until his stomach, his belly became so big. And then Abu Bakr, he said, those who used to worship Muhammad, well, Muhammad is dead. Now they confirm that Muhammad is obviously dead and he is a stink. And those who worship Allah, Allah is alive, he don't die. Do you see it? Let us do a translation, you know, uh, using Google Translation and see. So we can show you at least in Google, you know, uh, but I'm not sure what they will try to search for the word. I think we need to find how they try to translate Batnaho. Maybe, maybe they were translated as Billy. Let us search for the word Billy. Uh, Billy is not, <clears throat> cannot be found. Let us see stomach. Because you see, you don't know, like the same word can be translated as Billy, can be stomach. So we need to find what the, uh, we cannot find the word stomach too. So we, uh, okay, let's see. It is type is dead. Is dead. All right. Uh, mm. Mm, how we can find it? Let us see. Good. Maybe the easiest way is to copy the line and take it because the link, the, the page is so long and we do not know how Google translate the whole thing, you know. Uh, here we go, here we go, we found it, we found it. All right. Um, you see here, it doesn't show it doesn't show the correct translation. So uh, the prophet he died and his stomach. Uh, let us see. Um, or did so before him. until it finished the verses let us do this we will copy the line as it is you know oh, see now google translate uh, just a flipping a flipping the the translation to english give me a second <clears throat> yeah because i like to show things and uh, you know we show it in arabic already but most of you do not know arabic anyway uh, Let us switch. It's not allowed me to go back to Arabic. All right. Mm -hmm. 
we will open a different website. Each time I open the same page, it's switch, uh, switching me to, okay, hold on. Let us search in different browser this way. Will not take me to the English right away. All right, we found, but this time we, what we will do, we will uh, we will keep it in Arabic in the side so it doesn't switch on us. That's what happened. We found a Muslim website. All right. This is a Muslim website, and here they are reporting, and they are asking question, how accurate is that the Prophet was left for, for a night and a day. Until his nails became a green and his belly became big and huge. All right. And here is the hadith. They have it in red or the important part of it. All right. And here they will say to you, oh, this is a very rejected. This is Munkar. This is disgusting. Uh, you know, they say it's reported by Abdullah al Bahi wa huwa tabi'i mursal. You know, so he is, he is a, uh, one of the followers of the companion. The number two, uh, uh, Abdul Bahi, he is da'if. Uh, Abu Hatim, he said it doesn't, he don't, they don't count him. <laughs> then he says this news gave a, 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 like a problem to the Imam al Hafiz who is a thiqa, you know, uh, because reported by uh, an Ismail ibn Abi Kharid. So this is cause a problem for the Islamic world. So here they try their best to say to you that this is absolutely a false hadith, but this is written in their books. And by when they say it for you, a tabi'i, what tabi'i mean? Tabi'i is the, the, the one who follow a companion, companion of Muhammad. So why he will lie? And why he will say something about such a thing in the same time is not only one person who report this is different hadith this is not the one I was looking for by the way this is about as you see here it's about uh, his nails became a green all right here it says uh, his nail became a green and even his finger they bent bent down they like you know when the when thinat khonsura let us try to translate to Google there is Google You see it? He left a day and a night until his nails and his and his hand, uh, sorry, his nails and his belly uh, became so big, and then even his uh, uh, fingers they they are twisted. You know, when when somebody die, his fingers they will go like as if he is grabbing something like like an eagle. You know. You see it? Is it true news? And for sure, the Muslim, they will say, oh, no, brother, this is not true. No way. Because the prophet, he said it clearly. Oh, you guys, you don't see my my, uh, my screen. I apologize. Okay. It's my fault. I apologize. You see it? No, I think you see it. His nails is turned to be green. And his belly here in the translation is not coming correctly. The translation, his belly became so big, when thinat khunsura, and his uh, uh, fingers twisted. You know, as you see, they bent actually. And this is reported by the Muhammadan. 
Honorable brothers and sisters, visitors, etc. Blah, 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 okay, okay, correctly. Browsing without, uh, okay, response topic. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah. So this is what what their book saying, and the only way for Muslims to get away from exposing their prophets is to deny the story. Because if you accept the story, you accepted that Muhammad is a fraud. This is how simple it is. So you have one of two choices: either you accept the story to be true. And that means Muhammad, he lied when he says that we as a prophet, our body will not decay. As he claimed. Which one we do prefer if I'm a Muslim? For sure, I will defend Muhammad and I will not accept a story exposing his lies that when he died, his belly became big, his fingers became uh, twisted, bent, bent uh, uh, down, and uh, uh, his skin became a green and his nails became a green. This is the only solution. There's no other solution. So it's very normal for the Muslim to say, "We, this is this is false. This is going to be true." But ask yourself a question: Why somebody in the time of Muhammad? Because you see, when they say Tabi'i, Tabi'i, well, this is a very fresh Islam yet. And did anyone kill this guy for this lie? No. You know what I mean? Did history report that when this guy he said this, they killed him? They brought him to court. They say you are a liar. Shame on you. We will kill you. You are fabricating a story. He did, nobody accused him and nobody killed him and nobody punished him. Imagine I say in the time of Muhammad or right after his death, Muhammad, when he died, his stomach became big, full of gas. He starts farting. His knees are bent and uh, they became green. His, 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 his knees are green and his uh, uh, fingers, they pinned. There is no way they will let him live. Those are very aggressive people. Uthman ibn Affan himself, they killed him. They tortured him. The caliphate himself, the Muslim killed him. The grandsons of Muhammad, the Muslim killed him. Ali. I mean, all of them, they kill each other. So how in the world somebody, he made such, an, such a statement and he lived with it. So Muhammad here, he got himself busted. He lied. And actually, I challenged the Muslim to open the grave of Muhammad. If his body is still not preserved, that means he's a true prophet. Is that correct, guys? As long as you are sure that Muhammad is a prophet, open his grave. It takes you one, one second. Don't, don't you miss seeing him? People, is that true? Don't you Muslim like to see how Muhammad looked like? If his body will not be decay, it's mean after 1400 years or after 1 million years, that will not change anything. Still, he will not decay. Open the grave and let us see. But because they knew that he is, he, he, if he stink if in the first few days after his death, what will happen by now after 1400 years? A very easy way of examination of the prophethood of Muhammad. Open the grave and let the whole world see. You see, actually, if you open the grave, Muslims, and people, they see that Muhammad preserved since 1400 years ago as if he's a living being, a lot of people will convert to Islam. Correct? This is the easiest way, easiest way to convert people to Islam. Open the grave. Muhammad said, my body will not decay. 1400 years pass. Then his body should be stay as if he die now. As, as if he is still alive, actually. So look how many advantage you will get from this act, action. Uh, first, you will see how he look like. Number two. Minions and maybe hundreds of years, maybe the whole earth will convert to Islam. A guy who died, imagine like he died and his body, like they did not do like what the Egyptian they do, they put material like chemical in his body, uh, uh, injection uh, of chemicals, so they preserve the body. No, no, he, he just preserved normally by anything. That is a miracle for sure. That is absolutely a miracle, for this is really impossible. Just do it, but they will not do it. Because they knew that Muhammad is a fraud, and here we go, the stories, all of it report the same. When Al-Abbas, he says that, why, why Al-Abbas want to say such a thing? 
Actually, if you go to the book of Al Hafiz ibn Hajar, and let me show you this. Not all Muslims they 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 say the lie that this is weak and etc. Okay. What's wrong with this thing? Why everything is switching to English with me here? But anyway, for some reason, everything is switching to English in the page. Anything I click in Arabic is switching to English. Something wrong. This is an Islamic website, islamweb.net. This is a fatwa, official Islamic uh, fatwa. The question is, uh, it says that Al-Abbas, Al-Abbas, and this is a big name in Islam from the family of Muhammad. He said, the message of Allah is a human. And actually there it says he stink as a human stink. He's a human. He stink as a human stink. Let me show you. You see that the Google could not translate the part where it says he stink. But we can show it in Arabic. وقال العباس رضي الله عنه إن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يأسن كما يأسن البشر يأسن كما يأسن البشر يأسن من stink as a human they stink we go back to the English and here it says this is uh, 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 reported by you know إسحاق بن رهوي بسند رجاله رجال البخاري and those are from reported from the one who they are from al-Bukhari all right but look what they will say here about about this hadith let us show you in English al-Hafiz ibn Hajar he said what he found in this script that uh, al-Abbas uh, uh, the, which the, the one who like they mentioned that Al-Abbas he said he did not really carry it from something like uh, 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 stopped or something rejected but it was his opinion it was his opinion so he is not rejecting the guy saying he's, he's not saying this is a weak he is saying that this is his opinion Which mean, Al Abbas did not maybe say that, but this guy he thought this is what it's meant. But who is in the world going to believe in such a garbage? It doesn't make sense. But it doesn't matter where you go. They will say it's not true. And look at the end. They hear it say. The scholar, the scholar, uh, they, they, they said, uh, if we assume that this hadith is, is uh, sahih, is correct, okay? If the assumption that this hadith does not contradict the safety, this is a translation of Google, of the Prophet, which means the, the, the accuracy of Muhammad saying that his body will not be delayed. How is that will not be contradicting? I mean, look at the stupidity. How the hadith saying that he's this guy, his belly became big. He, you know, his stink, his nails became a green. Each one of those reports are different report, not one report. And how that will not contradict that Muhammad said his body will not decay, you tell me. Because they say to you, because they said that the Prophet said that the 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 uh, 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 the the ground will not eat his body. He did not say that his belly will not become big. <laughs> you see the stupidity. This is one of the opinion they say to you. Oh, okay, okay. So his belly became big, and uh, uh, you know, but this is, does not prove anything because still he is there. No, my friend, he's not there.
Look what it says. But if you can't play it, is there nothing wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. God will by that the uh, the living me nature, its cavity, and relax its joint and a branch of his uh, from disease and the most severe people of the prophet. Uh, so the rest changes the human body uh, or their smell. So they are saying like you know uh, normal. Uh, 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 all those things happen to normal people, right? When they when they die, the smell became bad and etc. And the ground eat their body, which means consume their body. But not the prophet. Not the prophet. He smells so good. He smells so good. Look, look. Uh, for now, still, it's very pleasant. Wind from musk. While he, li he lives in life, life like him. So Muhammad, he, he smells like musk. But the hadith says he stink. <laughs> There's one statement of Muhammad. He said that uh, when he do poo poo, the ground open its mouth and swallow his poo poo. And his poo poo smell like musk. They worship this man and they do their best to defend him. And we love. We love. Uh, let me see if I can find the hadith. I, I don't like to say something without showing the reference. Uh, let me see if I can find it in Arabic. We will try to find it in English. No, that's not one. Let us see this one. There is endless hadith. They worship this man. You know, they make him God. They made him etc. They are possessed by the devil Muhammad. Ah, we cannot find this one too. But anyway, it looked like the only way for us to do uh, to show you this is to read the hadith for you. Or this hadith is reported many places. You know, we are just showing an example. We will translate. So Muhammad, he went inside, he did poo-poo, and they did not find anything left of his poo-poo. Where his poo, poo go? You tell me. Huh? You tell me where the poo-poo go? Aisha, she entered upon Muhammad after he did poo-poo. And when she entered, she saw nothing, and she found a smell like musk. She said to Muhammad, I don't see your poo-poo. He said that the ground ordered to hide it from us people who they are prophets let us translate oh it's not translating okay here we go all right so aisha she went after the messenger entered upon him uh, okay and, uh, so, and then they said i saw nothing i found nothing but uh, 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 a scent of musk this is after he did the translation. He is not good. After he did the poo poo, where, where is your poo poo go? The prophet said, uh, "Messenger of God," he said, "I did not, you know, like he said, the 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 the, the earth were, were commanded to hide it from us. All the poo poo we do. True story. I mean, isn't it obvious true story?" But, you know, those kuffar, they don't believe in those true stories. What you can do? 
So obviously the prophet Pupu uh, is a, a clear sign that Muhammad was a prophet sent by God. Otherwise, why Allah will hide his Pupu? What he will do with it? He will use it as a manure? You tell me. It's a clear sign that Muhammad is a prophet of God and his Pupu is a priceless. Because maybe somebody will buy or take the Pupu and use it for some kind of uh, nuclear uh, weapon or something. You know? So Muhammad, he said in the ground, uh, uh, and then uh, Pupu, the, the, the earth open its mouth and like yummy, 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 yummy. You know, the, the earth will be fighting over it. And then his fart is like musk. His fart like musk, literally musk, like perfume. Imagine if I can get a contract with Muhammad and sell his fart in eBay. Trust me, Muslim, they will spend hundreds of millions to get his fart. I will make an auction. The fart of the holy ass of the holy prophet of the holy fart of the prophet Muhammad. eBay. Make your bid. Abdul here, he says 100 million. Other Abdul, 150 million, 160 million, 200 million, Bill Gates, 700 million, Prince uh, uh, Talal, 800 million, 800 million true, 5 billion, 5 billion, who want to pay more? 5 billion, what's your name, sir? King of Saudi Arabia, 5 billion, the King of Saudi Arabia, 10 billion, 10 billion. What's, uh, what's your name? Uh, Sultan of Brunei? 10 billion Sultan of Brunei. One, 10 billion. Two, 10 billion. Three, 10 billion Sultan of Brunei. May Allah bless you. You get the blessing of the fart of the Prophet and you are now the official owner of his farting. Anything will look embarrassing. They will say it doesn't say that. this is hadith is fabricated. This hadith is etc. Yeah, right. Any, all of you is fabrication. All of your slam is fabrication. All your book, all your books is a joke. Now we are laughing. Now look at this. Let us go back to our topic. You see, we are talking about how the revelation is done. So it's confirmed by us that the fault of the prophet is holy, but Quran is not holy. Obviously. Because you can play with the Quran, you can move chapters, and Allah cannot stop you. If I decide now to make a Quran and I print and I add words, can I do that? The Muslim they would say, uh, no, you cannot. No, I can't. They say we have the original. No, you don't have the original. Where is the original? The one you print in the market is not the original. This is the original. Why you don't print it like this? Not a single Muslim he have in his house a Quran start with a chapter 96. And second is 68. And third is 73. And fourth is 74, etc. None of you. Why? Because you Muslims, you corrupted your prophet who his fart smell like musk which is scientifically to be true this is why we can call muhammad prophet fartino because his fart is unique you see they call you by your name because your name is unique so what is unique about the prophet fart his fart is like musk nobody his fart is like musk nobody so that will make him unique extremely unique his fart is very special what is special about the Prophet? His fart. The Muslim says that, not me. Aisha said that, not me. Right? So, when they say to us that the Quran is preserved, obviously this is a joke. Secondly, who is the one who gave a permission to you Muslims to have the Quran written in such a way? You see, all those... Uh, 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 Sabil Ali, uh, uh, doctor. By the way, what happened to this doctor Sabil? He said he want to debate me. That's it. He made himself as he heard nothing of my challenge. Well, when we are going to have a debate? You want to go in Zoom? You go in Zoom. Go in Zoom. Go in Foom. Go in. Uh, go in the tomb. Who care? 
Give me your Skype and I will call you. So we want all those. What happened to this guy? He want to make episode number three. Insan, what happened to him? He retired or what? After we hit him in the head and the, between his legs. He caught for us a book proving that Muhammad is a fraud. This is how stupid they are. So where is the Quran? And now we need to have little more questions. They are little, but they are disaster. They are so little. Allah, he choose this chapter to be his first chapter. Did Allah make a mistake? So Muslims, you decide to put Al-Fatiha first? Was it a mistake? Because if you are taking this chapter, putting it at the end of the Quran, that means it's a big mistake, not only a mistake. You Look, look, they put it at the end of the Quran. Totally, totally at the end. This is the chapter number 96. The Quran is only 114 chapters. <clears throat> so they move chapter number one and they put it at the end, which means we do not need it really. It's not important. Just leave it at the end. At the end. And then there is more questions about this stupid book, how it's written. If we go in the Quran, the yellow pages of Muhammad, you will find this. This is a chapter five verse number three guys why we have only 653 that's mean you guys are not doing your job seriously why we have only this that's mean you are not sharing the link you are not inviting your friends that's mean all of you are just coming here just by yourself if each one of you brought one friend we will be a thousand more How many broadcasts I did yesterday? Three? Honest my God, to my to my God, my, my throat is hurting. I'm coming here just for you. Let us spread the message and get as many as we can so they can hear and learn. And my videos are for free. Take it, download them, do whatever you want with them. It's for you. Let us help others to see the stupidity of this cult so nobody will be deceived. Forbidden to you. Food as etc. Okay. Don't eat this, okay? But why? He don't say. Why? It doesn't say. No problem. Uh, uh, the pork is haram. Why? It doesn't say. Don't ask. Just do it. Now, here there is something wrong. There is something really stupid. This day. This day. Have those who rejected the faith given up all your hope in your religion. You fear that you may not fear me, blah, blah, blah. And then he said here. This day have I perfected your religion for you. Today, this time became perfect. Completed my favor upon you. It's completed. Does it say completed, guys? This is the Muslim translation. This is the Muslim translation. Today, I completed the Quran. Because if Islam is completed, that's mean all the Quran which will come after this is not necessarily correct. Do we agree, people? Uh, Jay is asking, What is my main source of teaching? My friend, we are showing it. It's on the screen. Islamic books. Nothing from my pocket, as you see. Do you see me showing you for anything from my pocket? I don't make things up. Whatever I say, I work hard, you know, we struggle to show you the reference to translate Google, Google, blah, 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 blah. And you are asking me, where are my references? Islamic books. And this is the Quran. So when Allah, he says, this day I have perfected your religion for you. Completed my favor upon you. So what is completed? The favor of Allah. What is the favor of Allah? Islam. 
Actually, he confirmed that. He says, and chosen for you Islam as your religion. Okay, hold on. Today, today, this day, this day, this is not metaphorical, this day, I perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and have a chosen for you Islam as your religion. And then he's the stupid, he keep continue talking. But if you force into anger, there's no problem. What does have to do with this? I mean, look at the stupidity. You just said Islam is perfect now. You do not, you should not add more. This should be the last verse in the Quran. This verse should be the last verse in the Quran. Like, you know, in the old movies, they say the end, like people will not leave the theater until you say the end. If, if they don't see the end, people stay. Like, uh, where is the end? Huh? Movie is over, man. It doesn't say end. We have to stay. Especially, I think they made it for us, the Arab. You know, we stay and we wait for the end. It doesn't end, we didn't go. So here, Muhammad, he says the end. This day have I perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and have it chosen for you Islam as your religion. So why you keep talking? And this is what chapter? This is a chapter number five. Verse number three. Based on this, all the chapters after five, verse number three is a fabrication. The proof is in the front of your eyes. I challenge you to say it's a lie. What do you think? Isn't it a clear proof? <clears throat> yeah, I will. I will learn, uh, Basha. I will. I, actually, I'm going to marry an uh, Indonesian uh, girl. You know, I will go to Indonesia, find an Indonesian girl, and marry her, and she, you know, she teach me how to speak Basha, and then I will have like little Christian prince Basha. You know, speak Basha like you know they open their, their, their camera, and they like want to debate me. I mean, Christian Prince Junior, who want to debate me? You are a coward. Hmm? Yeah, we will do that. Too bad I cannot marry a woman from every country, so will teach me every language, like I like Prophet Muhammad. Imagine I'm Prophet Muhammad and I have 13 wives. So I marry women from, uh, like, let us say, from China. You know, like, okay, Chinese. You know, I will come here eating spicy food and bingo. And then I marry an Indian girl. And then I will learn, like, in India, I have to marry 300 Indian girls because they have a 300 language. Man, that's a lot. Even Prophet Muhammad, he cannot do all you know, this business here. So. Anyway, I will, I will, uh, uh, I will eat, uh, I will ask, I invoke Allah, and he will send me a dish of al kufayt as what happened to Prophet Muhammad. He got the power of 40 men. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, maybe we should do muta. <laughs> Listen to this. Go back to the topic. Yeah, maybe YouTube have a problem. I see now 960 something. I don't know, but YouTube is not showing the accurate numbers. Today, this day, have I perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and have it chosen Islam for you, Islam as religion. The verse is so simple, it's so clear. Actually, this is one of the most clear verses in the Quran. Muslim, they cannot say it have different interpretation. This day, this day, it's about time. I perfected your, you know, if you don't like this translation, we can change it for you. I don't care. This is a translation of Yusuf Ali. We can show you a different translation. Hilali and Khan, Muhammad Hilali and Muhammad Khan. Hmm? Read with me. This day, I have perfected the religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and have it chosen you, for you, Islam as a religion. So Islam completed. The favor of Allah is completed. That's it. If we ask Muslims, is this verse here is a favor from Allah? They will say yes. What about this one? They say yes. What about this one? Yes. What about this is the all the, the Quran is a favor from Allah. Every word from Allah is a favor from Allah. Ask any Muslim. 
So how we will fix this now? How it says here in verse number three, today I completed my favor upon you. That is a clear proof that after this verse, all the Quran is a fabrication. Now, a smart Muslim man, Muhammadan, who did enjoy the fart of the Prophet who smelled like musk, as we showed you from the Hadith. He might come with an idea saying, well, this is was the last verse in the Quran. This was what? The last verse in the Quran. Hold on. Let us say it was the last verse in the Quran. How it end here? If this was the last verse in the Quran, who allow you to put it here? That is a corruption. Do you see it? And by the way, since I spoke about the musk and the, the, the belly of the Prophet, Zakir Naik is not saying exactly. I don't know what happened to him. Any Muslim want to say to us? And is say anything? Any Muslim have an answer? This verse should be the last verse in the Quran, the end of the movie. Who put it here in the beginning of the Quran? Hmm? No, none of my admins speak in dirty, my friend. The only dirty here we have is Muhammad. Any Muhammadan have anything to say? How this verse end here? This is, should be the last verse in the Quran. Don't you see it? Muslims, they want to challenge me in Skype? Hmm. Well, I am sure that those are not what you are thinking. Maybe this kid from Senegal, the crazy boy. We keep calling me, you know, like a bug. Let us see. Just to show you that none of them really, you know, they, they are not real. But we will give it a try. Maybe. Maybe you are wrong. Okay. <clears throat> we will go in uh, Skype. And we will see if there is any Muslim on a call. <clears throat> Somebody saying, I would like to change a Christian prince if he can show me any human ever live in this world can meet such a complex mathematical coding sentence surah like the Quran. My friend, we answer all those fabrication about the mathematical and I get them busted and I can get you busted in two seconds. Do you like to call me? I will call you. Hmm. So we will laugh together. Mathematical, mathematical miracle in the Quran. He hang up. Next. We got them busted. All of those are lies. Uh, I don't see any Muslim trying to contact me. This is the only one. We have a guy. His name is 
فرحان Where is the Muslim when you contact me? You said a couple of Muslims. There is only one person he posed for me stupid statement about scientific or mathematical mirror. I mean, guys, look at this stupidity. Allah will make you go calculate the words of the Quran. He cannot make a miracle. I mean, make it simple. Jesus, he touched the blind. He make him see. He said to the guy, cannot walk, walk, he walk. No. Allah, he wants you to be a scientist in mathematics. And now you are going to calculate the word, brother. And then we divide the word to number 17. And then we plus two. And then we add three. And then we get the answer. But this is this is all your fabrication. All those numbers. Are you are it's your creation? Who is the one who said do I, uh, divide this into this and add this into this? This is your fabrication to make it sound like something interesting. Have you ever heard of a god? He wants you to do mathematics. So you find a miracle? Isn't it the purpose of a miracle is for everybody? What if somebody do not know what one plus one is? So all those numbers are fabrication. That's why you see numbers like, okay, we add three to this number and then we, we divide it to etc. And the number, where, where you got this number three from? You choose of your choice. It's a stupidity. Right? We laugh. You see, the Quran says that Jesus, he made the blind see. Can't Allah make the blind see for Muhammad? A blind come to Muhammad, there is a, there is a, there is a chapter in the Quran, it's called the Abasa. Look what Muhammad did to the blind man when he came to him. Chapter 80, verse number 1. When the blind man come to Muhammad, Muhammad, he gave him a face. Read it. Here we go. Muhammad have a golden opportunity to make a miracle. And instead of giving the blind man a face, make him see. Why Muhammad, he gave the blind man see a face? Anyone remember? Why Muhammad, he gave him a face? He don't like him. Get out of here. He was speaking to the rich people of Quraysh. You see the fraud? And he said to himself, if those people see that those are the one who follow me, they will not accept to join Islam. You see the fraud? He feel ashamed of the poor blind man who is coming to learn about Allah. A Muslim might say, where do you get this from? Let me show you the reference, my friend. Chapter 80, verse number 1. Give me a second. This is your interpretation, not mine. I have nothing to do with it. I have nothing to do with it. This is your garbage. <laughs> Let us see. It's amazing how those people try to defend the religion by stupidity. Mathematical, you yeah, are right. We laugh at your mathematics. Your God even do not know. The first chapter he gave to Muhammad is about the human being created from the congealed dead blood. A God he thinks that a human is created from a dead blood. Read with me carefully, please. This is the book of Asbab al-Nuzul. Asbab al-Nuzul is a book mean, or the name of it mean, the reason for the verses to come down. The reason for the verses to come down. It says here that this person, the blind man, Ibn Umm Maktoum, he came to Muhammad seeking knowledge, answers, you know. And here it says, uh, that important people from the tribe of Muhammad coming to the house of Muhammad, he's trying to convince them to convert to Islam. Those are the richest. Umayyah. 
One of them is Umayyah, very important. All of them, they are important, actually. And it says here clearly, he is meeting with those who they are rich, they are important. These chief, look what Muhammad said, when this man, he came to him, read carefully. When this blind man, he came, he kept requesting him, repeating his request, not knowing that he was busy and dealing with someone else. Sign of annoyance appeared in the face of a messenger of Allah. Bless him and give him peace. Because he is being repeatedly interrupted. He said in himself, look what Muhammad said in himself, read carefully. What Muhammad said in himself? This chief will, will say his followers consist of only the blind and the lowly people and slaves. Do you see it? Muhammad is ashamed of having who he called them lowly, low class, trashy people, and slaves. Who is more important for Muhammad, the lowly, the slaves, or the rich? The answer in the front of you. So he gave him a face and then this guy, he went out and they start, people start talking about him, how rude he is, how he is a prophet of God just because the guy is poor and they are rich. He kick him out? Now, if we compare this to the action of Jesus, the blind man, he came to who? To the Messiah, who thousands of people, they are trying to, 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 to listen to him, to get in hold in him. The blind man, he said to him, Lord, God, I want to see. He did not ask him for a sandwich, food, because he knew that this is the Messiah. He believed in his heart that this is the true Messiah. This is the one who can make me see. This is not a request, a normal request. I mean, how in the world you ask somebody, I want to see. What is that? But because everybody know the Messiah is amazing. He have the power of a creation because making the man see again, it's a creation of eyes. As simple as that. My friend, Indonesia Muslim, they want to feud me. Don't you see the Indonesian, the big ones, they try. I made them shish kebab. Go watch. The last one of them, he have heart attack. We don't see him no more. Episode number one, episode number two, and bingo, he's gone. Indonesian, they will refute me. The Arab, they are scared to call me. So in the blind man, he said to Jesus, I want to see. Jesus said to him, see. He gave him eyes. The blind man came to Muhammad. He don't even want to see. He knew Muhammad cannot make him see because if he knew Muhammad can make him see, this is the first thing he would ask for. So when the Muslim, they come with the idea, mathematic miracle in the Quran, it's just because they have a clear bankruptcy. It's like somebody, he's out of money. You don't have money, don't you, to pay us your debt. Uh, but you know what? I can show you in my book, I have a mathematical miracle. Yeah, they have no miracles. Even the Quran says that Allah, he refrained from sending miracles to Muhammad. He refrained what? He refrained. Not only he says, I did not give Muhammad. I refrain. وَمَا مَنَعَنَا Don't worry about my voice, guys. Oh, what I need. Maybe I take a break from doing videos. That's all. Read carefully. This website is going slow. What happened? It's not opening. Uh -huh. It's not opening. Here we go, finally. Nothing stop us from sending ayat, proof, evidence, signs. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I don't know what Zachary Nayak will say about that. Tiridin, 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 tiridin. 
Tadadin, tadadin. Christian friends, I told you, I don't call me. Hey, just wait, man. How in chapter 17, verse number 59, Allah, he says, Allah stops sending miracles. What happened? Suddenly he's out of gas. First of all, the Quran doesn't say that. And I want you to take the translation. Uh, what the translation you like? Show me Yusuf Ali. Uh, Yusuf Ali? Exactly. Are you sure? Exactly. Okay. Let us go to Yusuf Ali. Uh, no problem. Customers come first. So Yusuf Ali uh, is, will give you a great translation. Exactly. Okay, this is Yusuf Ali. It says, And we refrain from sending signs only because man, men of former generation treated it as false. So Allah, he says, he refrained. Christian Prince, I told you, show me Yusuf Ali. Not Ali Yusuf. What? Show me the translation of Yusuf Ali. Not Ali Yusuf. This is Yusuf Ali, man. No, this is Ali Yusuf. What do you mean? Okay, let me explain to you. Are you an Arab or you are a, you are a Hindu from India? I'm an Arab. In Arabic, you read it from where? Uh, we read it from the right to the left. Exactly. So his name is Ali Yusuf for you. I want you to read for me Yusuf Ali. Uh, what? Is, um, uh, okay. I got your point, but still, if I read it, Yusuf Ali or Ali Yusuf, is it the same person? Person? It's not the same person. Because, as an example, and I will explain to you, if I give you my picture, and actually you are throwing my picture in the, in the screen, and I am in the right side of a person, in your side, I am a right side person, but in my side, I am in the left. Ah, so your name there, but you are not there. Exactly. Okay, now, so are you going to answer me about this verse about Allah saying he refrained from sending signs? I just told you a sign. In the Quran, you can read from right to, 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 to from the right to the left. And this is Zakir Naik, this is Arabic. It exists before Islam. And we write, we read from right to the left. This is not what Allah made. First of all, you are before Islam, you don't speak Arabic. So what do we speak? You speak Urdu. We speak Urdu. Really? Exactly. Add an example. Tell me the word Salad in Arabic. Uh, salad. See? Exactly. This is the Urdu word. This is the Urdu word. What is the word Mecca in Arabic? Uh, Mecca. Exactly. This is Urdu. Ah. So, uh, I just remember that when Allah He sent Adam, He sent him to India, specifically to Sri Lanka. Is that true? Exactly. And our prophet Adam, he was from Sri Lanka. And this is the proof that the origin of Islam is Indian. Uh -huh. Adam was from Sri Lanka, Islam came from India. That explains why you have the black stone like the Hindus. Exactly. And we are the brother. And you will not make us fight each other. And we, we Hindu, we say the same God. Ah, okay, and the black stone for the Hindu is presenting a, a private part, sexual a private part, and the black stone in Islam presenting the vagina. That makes sense. Exactly. And now I get you busted. Okay, but how you get me busted? That means you are, as Islam, as a Muslim, is coming from the religion of the Hindu, and you are not what you claim to be. Exactly. What's wrong with you, Zakir Naik? Today you're stuck with exactly whatever I say to you. So now we go back to our topic. How Allah, he say, he refrain from sending miracle if the Quran is a miracle. Are you listening, Zakir Naik? Zakir Naik. Zakir Sleepy. Sleepy Joe. Scooby Scooby Doo. Muslims, how there is a mathematical miracle in the Quran and Allah is saying we refrain from sending signs if the if the if the mathematics is in the Quran. Who is the stupid here, you or your God? Because if there is a scientific miracle in the Quran or mathematic miracle in the Quran, that means this verse is a fabrication. Correct. You see how easy to get them busted? 
You just admitted that the Quran, this, this verse is fabrication then. Because Allah in the Quran challenged, it challenged a human being and mankind and genie, which is funny. Genie, what genie? To make Quran like the Quran. Okay. That's mean the Quran is not a sign, it's not a miracle because, I mean, this, this verse here saying the Quran is not a miracle because Allah refrained from sending signs. So if making Quran is a miracle and then Allah, he says, we refrain from sending miracle, but by saying that he made a miracle. That's when Allah is a stupid. My internet is going bad. Is the net is going bad, guys? <clears throat> I hope not. My voice is cutting. Yeah, look, maybe <clears throat> I hope the internet will not go down. You see, because of Corona, we have too many people using the internet at the same time. And then now, we have a failure of anyone to explain to us what's happening. Big failure. Somebody saying to me, Christian Prince, you said in the previous podcast you have, you know, you love Muslims, so why can't you like speak to them nicely in different and different way? My friend, you have your opinion about how to make people leave Islam. And I have my experience. Let us see. You see, when, when people they speak about how to do uh, how to hunt, let us say a wolf. But the person who is teaching you how to hunt a wolf, he never hunted one. Is that logical? So please don't tell me how to deal with Muslims. You don't like my idea? Do better. You do it. You do it. You do it in a better way. Give them hugs. Do what you know. My friend, please don't be naive and don't be silly. My war is bigger than your head. I'm receiving death threat like rain and you are telling me change the way you talk and my way of talking is working very well actually one of the reasons people they listen to me because i say it as it is i am not hypocrite i am not perfectly correct like many of those false priests who say yeah we have the same god abraham no we don't Don't tell me how to teach the Muslims. If you don't like how I teach, first, don't listen to me. Secondly, you do it better. I want to see your skills. I will be happy if you can make all the Muslims in the world tomorrow accept Jesus. Do better than me. Don't come to somebody, he dictates his life to fight this cult, and tell him how to do and what not to do. I see in that a sign of hypocrisy and stupidity. And the question is, are we successful? You see, if I am not speaking harsh, nobody in Indonesia will be listening to me and I will not be one of the most viewed videos in Indonesia. And you will never hear about me. You heard about me because the way I speak, not because I speak against Islam. There's many people speaking against Islam. And this is what I hate about some of those who are supposedly Christians. I don't know, maybe he's a good Christian, maybe, I don't know, I don't know the heart of people. But my friend, stop lecturing about what to do. Do it! If you are really true Christian, what about now you open your channel and do as you think is the best to bring people to Christ? I bet you you never have a YouTube made by you to bring somebody to, to Christ. But yet you are coming to lecture me about what to do, what to say. Amazing. What happened to my internet? Well, I did not say inshallah when I started my broadcast. And as you see, the internet is not doing good. 
But now I will open the bottle which have the fort of Muhammad and the, which is full of musk and that will boost my internet. All right. Don't worry about it. We will be fine. It go up, it go down. I hope soon will go better. And if we have to come back again later, no problem. I'm here for you. Are you here for me? Did I say we lose the internet? I will come back. What a big deal. Hello, hello, Scooby Scooby Doo, what we gonna do, bad boy, bad boy, you know, they want me to talk like those boring, repeated, saying nothing people, you know what saying nothing, talking much, saying nothing, we don't do that, people, they want knowledge, knowledge as it is not something sugar coated we are done with this garbage uh, anyway and this is how I am, what I can do. I mean, don't listen to me. This is how I am since I was a kid. This is not about, I'm like, uh, this is how I am. Shall I sing it for you? Let me make Quran for you. Chapter, this is how I am. This is how I am. In the day and night. And I refrain from seeing you in my sight. When I go online, you go crazy. When I speak to you, you go dizzy. This is how I am, deal with it. This is how I am, live with it. Takbir! That's it. And you know the funny about those Christians, instead of encouraging you, supporting you, you know, Muslims, they try to put like a lot of pressure on you, but it doesn't work with me. I am like, I am, I am a bulletproof. They try to take you down. Oh, brother, you are not talking correctly, brother. Uh, brother, go, go do it correctly. Do you know how many people left Islam by not doing it correctly? So you do it correctly. You brought zero people to Christ. I'm not doing it correctly. And I have thousands and thousands of Muslims left Islam. correctly all right <sighs> you are losing my voice because i was singing it's for your benefit my friend trust me you don't want to hear me when i'm singing uh, can we go to quality of life soon we will see if we have a topic we will let us have a topic <clears throat> Anyway, uh, we go back to the verse we were quoting for you. Any one of you remember what we what verse we were quoting about this verse is enough to prove to us that all the Quran is a is a corrupt book. Anyone remember what verse we are reading? What verse? What verse? Who remember? Who remember what verse? Chapter 5, verse number 3. Did we take a note? The importance of this verse is that this is cannot be true unless it is the last verse in the Quran. And if it was the last verse and you move it here, that is a corruption. For the purpose of something supposedly Allah say is the meaning, correct? Isn't it the meaning? So what the meaning? The meaning is, today, I completed my favor upon you. That is the meaning. So by moving this verse from a place to a place, I damage the meaning. Not only I did corruption, you did damage the meaning. Allah said, I completed 
your religion for you actually you know what I'm going to go live on here again to 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 study more this verse uh, because my 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 net now is is going wrong uh, look like we have a very low uh, stream energy let me let me boost it <laughs> do you know why guys I do <laughs> because brother if you go to the chapter in the Quran this chapter brother talking about blowing in the knot and obviously somebody placed black magic on my internet <sighs> and from the evil of witchcraft when they blew in the knot <sighs> The power of the knot. May Allah not you. The power of the knot. Okay, who is a Muslim want to make a knot for me? The power of the knot. Oh boy. This is God. This is miracle. Look, this guy, he believed that somebody can make a knot for you and he blow in it and he control you. Guys, I see outside a brand new car. I'm going to blow a knot for this car. So it come and became mine. Hold on. Not like my donkey. The car is moving. The car is moving. The car is moving away. Mm, did not work. Okay, let me see. I see there. Uh, ah, look there. I see a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful woman. Alhamdulillah. Brad, the Prophet said, don't look at women when they are walking the street. If you look at them, stare at their bum, and then get excited, and then go home to your wife and do boo-boo. I can show you the hadith. A woman walking by, he got horny. Let me blow a knot for her and control her. Why must them don't blow a knot for me? Prove to us that knots are true. By the way, who is the one who taught the knowledge of the knots? Anyone remember? As long as we mention this. Who is the one who taught the knowledge of the knot? Uh, look like my internet is going bad. Do you hear me, guys? Yeah. Well, you don't hear me. What I can do? So I'm going. I'm going to finish for now, and maybe we can come later. You know. Uh, uh, if you don't subscribe to my channel, please feel free to subscribe. If you are already subscribed, don't forget to unsubscribe, because this is the way how we do it. We are Arab. You know. We like people to subscribe to us and then subscribe and then we force them to subscribe again and then you subscribe because this is how like we enjoy it like you know we, we like forcing people to do things you know like you know so subscribe now later and subscribe and then later we will make you subscribe so don't forget to subscribe and, and subscribe as a hobby that will make you like have a fun in the time of corona like you are bored what do you do you go subscribe and subscribe subscribe and subscribe and this is how like it's interesting the numbers going up, numbers going down. So here you see that you you have you have a fruit in life. You know the the Muslim they decide to subscribe to my channel and then unsubscribe. And this is how they can make channel. My channel doesn't look good. People are leaving Christian Prince. So subscribe and subscribe, brother. Yeah, but the funny you cannot even see how many surprises I have. Uh, exactly, brother. Yeah. So anyway. Uh, we will go later online uh, and I hope the internet will be way better uh, don't forget to follow us and join us and we will continue explaining how the Quran is nothing but the garbage not it's the Quran is not corrupted the Quran is corrupt book from the beginning I mean you cannot corrupt the corrupt correct if it's a fabricated book how you can corrupt a fabricated book that's really horrible It's like making the fraud fraud it's a fraud already 
so you cannot corrupt what is corrupt from the beginning the origin is corrupt so we are not here to make you really see that the Quran was originally good etc no it's a garbage book and you cannot corrupt garbage it's a stinky already all right so I want to say guys thank you as you see the internet is going up and down maybe later we will have better connection and I will see you soon again may the Lord bless you Christ is Lord Islam is a stupid made by a dummy for the dummy are you a dummy if a fool like Muhammad can fool you how fool are you if a person who said that genie go inside your anus shaitan go inside your anus when you do go to the bathroom how fool are you to believe in this fool so remember this statement if a fool like Muhammad can fool you how fool are you how fool are you extremely fool thank you may the Lord bless you and I will see you again Christ is our Lord he is our Savior and Muhammad get busted non-stop forever thank you